My name is Ruben and today we're talking about the material and construction of the Madonna. In the bike industry, aluminium is very often used for the cheaper version of the high-end carbon bike. But we do have a little bit of a different approach and we think that aluminium is capable of a lot more. In our production process, we use complicated production techniques like hydroforming and forging that give us all the freedom we need in our design process. Aluminium is generally a great material to create a durable product. And aluminium is also a great material to control in the production process to make sure that we have a very consistent quality at the outcome. For us, one of the most important aspects of using aluminium is that it's very durable. This means that no matter if you're on the trail where rocks are flying around from your front tire or if you put it on your bike rack, it's just very easy and you don't have to worry about it. Now we get to probably the most interesting topic um, in the construction of the frame and that is the weight. It's something that people talk a lot about and where definitely carbon frames are going to be lighter. You're talking about around half a kilogram that you could save by using carbon fiber. Um, a medium-sized Madonna V2 weighs in at 3.6 kilos, which is considerably light, especially if you consider that we've got over 500 grams of hardware in the frame. That all adds to the durability. But then also, if you look at bike riding, I would say we simplify it in pedaling, climbing, say climbing and descending. So for me, if you're climbing, there are three things. It is the weight of the bike. Of course, if you have to carry less, you have to carry less. Uh, but it's also the pedaling efficiency and most important it's the seated position of your body um, and for me those last two aspects are a lot more important if it's about getting uphill in a comfortable way when you get to descending we find that it's actually good to have a little bit of mass of course there's something not to overdo if you get to a bike that's 17 18 kilograms like demo bikes used to be or are you definitely get to a bike that's different to handle. But having a little bit of mass just helps in adding stability. Now there is definitely not going to be one truth about the perfect bike, but this video summarizes our view on how we see an enduro bike. Um, if there is anything else you would like to know more about the material construction, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment down below.